welcome to my channel Pavin's Tarot. I have to apologize that I didn't do uh, any videos for a long time but I had uh, uh, some personal issues I have to I had to go uh, through it was not nice but I will do today my first video now after a long time and um, this video is about Meghan Markle and Prince Harry's uh, interview what I would like to ask the cards is what were they trying to achieve with this interview. Uh, some people might have watched. I'm no normally not that much interested in the royal family, but they play a major part in the world. So they are quite influential. And yes, um, so that's why I'm looking into the cards. So I will shuffle the cards. So my question is, what was this interview actually about? What signals were they giving or why did they even do this interview? And uh, let's see what the cards say. Yeah? Okay, let's see. This is only for entertainment purposes. I don't know personally any of the parties involved in this kind of a mess. So let's see. see. So I have now um, cut the cards. So the first card is the issue. It's the star. It's like the star is actually a very positive card. It is the wish card and it's all about your wishes. You So they had an intention with this interview about their wishes to show them publicly. So let's see what's behind them. Behind them is actually a money offer. So it could be that they were paid for this interview or they, it was an incentive. To do this interview it was relating to money so what's next to it it's the page of wands they actually entered this uh, interview quite naively i don't know what they had in mind maybe uh, i will see that in a, in a uh, when i pick some more cards but they went into this um interview quite naively very unexperienced not that they both are, of course, uh, celebrities in a sense, but for example, uh, Prince Harry uh, grew up with the media on his back always, so he is not ex unexperienced with the media, but the interview they did, the effect they wanted to uh, achieve, they were quite, how shall I put it, uh, naive, actually naive. They expected to be... Yeah, maybe I will see what this card says. So this is the Wheel of Fortune, what's below that. So it will turn everything around. So it is not like um, that the interview will get the results they want because the Wheel of Fortune is turning. Uh, fortune doesn't mean in the sense always that it's positive. It can also turn around to the negative. So we have already two major arcanas and now the hermit also major arcana three major arcanas in one line so they did will maneuver them to an exile or um, to loneliness in a sense i think they a whole life will turn around regarding this interview i their wish of course, they said before uh, why they were leaving the royalty or the royal family because they wanted to have a uh, quiet life. But it seems like that they uh, want still the money from the royals to um, live this quiet life without any attention. And their hope, maybe it's not their hope in the sense because they want to be still in the public, their wish card comes true because their wish to be, of course, they say uh, officially that they want to be um, uh, kept um, uh, private, but then they go to the big uh, media outlet to do an interview and they wish to be a public figure maybe and earning a lot of money will turn around to their uh, exile in a sense. This um, reminds me a bit of the abdicated king. That's why uh, Elizabeth went, uh, became queen. Is they were left alone as well. They really did, you know, when uh, the king at at uh, it was Edward abdicated. 
they were really out of society. Not in the sense like um, when we are out of society, like being like outsiders, but they were quite outsiders as well. In the sense, in the circle, uh, in the circle they were in. So, yeah, this unfortunate disease. Uh, it seems like it will happen to Mary, uh, Hagrid, Harry, and Meghan as well. Let's see what uh, the three other cards says. A foundation has been laid. Also about money. It's a bit money intensive. I will see what the two other cards is. So it's like having a union. So these three people lay the fundament like Oprah, Harry and uh, Meghan. Oprah herself doesn't have to worry because she's a settled woman. She has her fans, she has her money, she has her uh, business, her media empire. And so she won't be tainted from this um, interview at all. It maybe raised her profile a bit more, but because she interviewed royals, but it's like a foundation they laid. Then the next spot, juggling with money. It's uh, this uh, kind of an indecision card. So I don't know if in the back there will be uh, some drawbacks for Harry and Meghan because the mo they have received money for the interview. And normally they say uh, we will donate it for a good course or something like that. This doesn't seem like that they have this intention. And the last card is a card is the Nine of Wands. The Nine of Wands it's quite a challenging card. It's like being wound, uh, wounded and being a bit scared and afraid. I think Harry, in the sense, didn't think about the pre. Mm, what the royal family has an, uh, has powers and I think he didn't consider the mega powers the royal family have and they will take action and this will wound them a bit. This interview didn't go that well for both of them. What they tried to achieve with this doesn't look very good for them. I will just get and the King of Cups. So there will, uh, it seems like there's somebody mature uh, who uh, is um, the King of Cups. So it's a Scorpio, could be a Scorpio, Pisces or a Cancer, but uh, Prince Charles is the uh, Scorpio and he's uh, the uh, King uh, of emotions in the sense but um, because there were allegations about racism and uh, that um, the skin color of Archie was questioned and it seems like as the culprit might be Prince Charles let's see what their this how this saga goes on what the next step is uh, from the royal family itself and let's see what um, the media in the UK is um, yeah, pushing out uh, which information they are now pushing out because they kept a lot of information about especially Meghan's background um, out of the tabloids. But now after she had sued them and this interview, I don't know if I, I will see who will be blamed for everything, Meghan or Harry. For me, it looks a bit like that Megan will be blamed, but we will see um, how the next chapter will continue and what the royal family says about all these allegations. I thank you very much for watching my video. I hope you liked it. Please like and share and leave a comment and um, see you next time. Thank you very much for watching. Bye.